Hey Math 31, I got a question here off of section 3.1 number 25. And the directions for this were to determine whether this relation represents a function. So they started us with y squared equaling x squared. And you can see over here that I took the square root of both sides of that equation, right? So to move from here to here, this first line to the second line, I take the square root of both sides of the equation. And what we tend to forget when we're doing this is that the plus or minus symbol needs to show up. So I get a lot of times where students will square root both of these sides and then they'll just tell me y is equal to x. And that's incorrect because you technically need to say y is equal to plus or minus x. So be careful, let me change the color on this, this plus or minus becomes important. And as a side note, sometimes it gets confusing. Let me, let me use a different color and let me go over here. So I, I wanna be super clear on something. If you were to take the square root of 16, the answer is not plus or minus four, it's definitely just positive four. So if there is a number in your radicand, you will definitely get a positive number on the outside. It's when you have the square root of a variable that you have to say it's either plus or minus x, or another way that we sometimes write that is we say that the square root of x squared is the absolute value of x. And that's because when you're taking the square root of x squared, you don't know if you started with a positive or negative number. So x could be positive or negative. All right, because if I plugged in positive 4 for x, well, 4 squared is 16, and the square root of 16 is 16. But also, if I plugged in x being negative 4, well, negative 4 squared is also 16, and the square root of 16 is 4, right? So that's why we put this absolute value here, or like I said, most of the time we write, oops, I couldn't even write it, we write plus or minus x. So you wanna make sure you have that plus or minus there. And then what that means, let me change my pen back, is that you need to graph two lines. You need to graph the line y equals x and the line y equals negative x. And for this line, the slope is one, and the y-intercept is the point zero comma zero. But for this line, the slope is negative one, and the y-intercept is also zero, zero, right? y equals mx plus b. So for this first line here, for y equals x, you see me drawing that, you can make the sound effect right there. All right, and then for that second line, let's use blue. For y equals negative x, here it comes, right? Wait for it, there we go. And the thing is, this relation is not a function because it would fail the vertical line test, right? As soon as I send a vertical line through it, you see it intersects our graph, our relation in two points, so that's why it fails to be a function. All right, so that's it for number 25. Thanks so much, bye.